I'm Jenny Warner and I'm head chef here at Elda at Fentechniken. Uh, it's a Nordic restaurant, so we are uh, inspired by uh, the Nordics and Nordic uh, cooking uh, technique. So here we have the lovely uh, Scottish hand-dived scallops, which we are going to grill and serve with uh, smoked celeriac and dill. So we're just going to very, very gently remove the scallop from its shell. Going to remove the skirt. Then I will just give this a little uh, wash in some ice cold water. This here is the roe, which is uh, very tasty also, which we preserve for later use. Uh, we're also going to use the, the shells to uh, present the dish on, so we're just going to give them a give them a wash. The garnish for the scallop dish is a smoked celeriac sauce. So what we're going to do is uh, first we're going to just peel the celeriac. We're going to chop it up, and then we're going to smoke it over hay. Uh, when we thought of this dish. Um, Obviously, being autumn, we want to use a lovely uh, root vegetable, uh, loads of natural umami in the celeriac, uh, loads of earthy flavor as well, which is why we smoke it. So when we're done, we've chopped up the celeriac, nice and small to get loads of, to take on that smoky flavor from the hay. So we have hay at the bottom here, and then uh, we are going to smoke it. We're putting a lid on top. If we don't, it will just catch on fire. We're going to cover it with a cloth as well to keep all that smoke on the celeriac and not escape. So we're just going to pop this container with the celeriac and with the, uh, the hay on top of the grill. So here we have the, the celeriac. It's been here for a good 10 minutes of smoking. You can see there's loads of smoke going on in there. The celeriac has uh, changed color. So like that, it's ready to go. Next, we are going to um, cook it down in a pan. We're going to roast it with loads of butter and then we're going to finish it with, in a blend, I just blend it up with some, uh, some double cream and salt and uh, add a bit of lemon juice. You'll find in my cooking, you'll find a lot of uh, acidity in all the dishes, even uh, throughout in the desserts. Next, we're going to cook the scallops and we're going to plate up the dish. Our hand out scallops that we uh, prepared earlier, just a little bit of oil to stop them from sticking on the grill, a bit of salt. And before I'm going to put them onto here, we're just going to put a little bit of a um, pine, just to give us a little bit of that lovely pine flavor. I've been lucky enough to go hunting with my dad, and we would um, grill outside, cook food outside. Um, and uh, that's a large part of Nordic cooking. And back in the day, when you, you went hunting and you had to get some food, you'd make a fire and uh, it would be from pine branches. So most of our dishes here, we, we cook on the fire. I'm just gonna let that burn a little bit so it doesn't uh, burn our scallops. Okay, just gonna get some of the smoke going. We're gonna warm up the scallop shells. We don't wanna cook the scallop through, we just wanna get a nice, nice sear and nice caramelization going and then we're going to turn it around and then it's done. The sauce is heated up and I stick that into the shell. A big part of Nordic cooking is uh, cooking over open fire, uh, taking a, a lovely ingredient and doing not much to it, just simply grilling it and that will just finish cooking in the lovely celeriac sauce. Then we will finish the dish bit of dill oil. We have a seaweed jam that adds to the umami of the dish, which we made from uh, the trimmings downstairs in our Japanese restaurant. So here we have the uh, grilled hand-dived Scottish scallops with a smoked celeriac sauce, dill oil and a seaweed jam.